and what we're going to look at here today, we're going to look at the inflationary gap. Inflationary gap. Okay, this is a situation where current output is greater than potential GDP or full employment level of output. So you're producing more than normal, all right? Which means that unemployment must be less than normal. Unemployment is less than the natural rate of unemployment, okay? Which again, another way of looking at it is to simply say that employment must be greater than normal level of employment. The economy is doing well, you are in an expansion or a boom. Okay, so let's draw this out. Let's draw out the situation. Price level, real GDP, long run aggregate supply. We are currently in potential output, unemployment at the natural rate. So we find our equilibrium where we, we, sorry, we find our short run equilibrium where we are producing more than this, where output is greater than this. You have your aggregate demand, AD1, and your short run aggregate supply. Short run aggregate supply 1. And our current output level, Y1, where unemployment is less than the natural rate. And do not forget to put in your price level price level p1 so this is where we are at the moment in a time of a expansion or a boom now what we say is that it's unsustainable in the long run we must end up here so this situation is unsustainable so we must end up at potential gdp so how do we end up at potential gdp how can we explain it how can we graph it right well, first things first, we know that we are producing more than normal. We know unemployment is less than normal. Right? We know employment is greater than normal employment. Economy is doing really well. You ask your boss for more money. If your boss doesn't give you more money, you work for somebody else. Everybody is looking to hire someone. Everybody. So eventually, wages have to go up. A rise in wages is a rise in the cost of production. It's not going to be more expensive to produce the goods and services. What this essentially means is your short-run aggregate supply curve is going to shift to the left. You're going to supply less at every given price level. So we can graph that. So let's just graph that then. There will be a shift to the left. And we will end up back at long run equilibrium. Do not forget to also state that the price level has gone up, right? If you do not state that the price level has gone up, you have not fully answered the question. You will lose some marks, right? You graph this, you explain what I just told you, you show the movement from Y1 to YFE, and do not forget to show the movement from P1 to P2.